Today, Precarious plays Lost Kingdoms 2. Oh, that's it. Just had to throw the switch. All right. Time to see which one of these is a mimic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not great. I'm a little hesitant to open these because I found out that there's something that I I kind of missed in the bridge level. Mm -hmm. Evidently, there's a glitch you can use to uh, get it anyway. Yeah. And I'll, if it's something that I, I feel like I'm really missing, I'll go and exploit that glitch to get in there. But on the bridge level, um, Remember how there was that really, really easy to get box in the center of the bridge that had a a cryptic message? It was like a, a, a if a treasure is easy to get, it's not worth having, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Evidently, if you open that box, a grate comes up around a box with, I think, like a, a card you can only get there, which is super cruel. Uh. Because I don't think this game has a new game plus option. Uh. But again, it's fine because the internet, I already found a, it's weird how I was having trouble finding like really basic, like a basic walkthrough of this game. Mm -hmm. But I found a video detailing this pretty specific glitch. Yeah. Um, basically what you do is you move adjacent to it and then like throw a treant down and then transform into a big mech card that you get later. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yikes. Uh, so have I been accidentally helping these people? Yay. Grim. Um, ah, there's that Dark Souls flavor. Yep. So, what was I saying? Oh, so whenever you transform, there's not enough space there for you, and because the treant is where it is, you can't occupy that space, so the game shunts you through the grate because it's the closest available empty space. Hmm. You know what, what I think are we're gonna the do? Plates? We, we're finally getting some knickknacks and bookshelves. We're in a different spot now, and I was thinking about it, and I think where we were before, uh -huh. the icon shows a full house. I bet we were in the basement. Mm. I don't think that was the full homestead, you know? Yeah, that makes Dang a it. little more sense. I'm going to be very, very cheeky, mm -hmm. because I'm fed up with fighting these guys. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get nice and juiced up. Mm-hmm. Don't come back this way, friend. Don't get hurt. There, we get juiced up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Here's that problem again where, like, after you have a couple of cards you want, the culling process, the cycling process becomes very slow. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Gonna throw down, throw down Dryad. Gonna throw down Wizard. Did I miss? I missed. What? What? Lame. Uh, I think Vengeance hits in the plus shape. One of them hits in a circle, and the other one hits in the in a cross. Mm. No! 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 Uh, no, sir. No, thank you. Uh, casting. Is that the one that summons skulls? I hope. Maybe. Ooh. Nope. That was the wrong one. That was the wrong special. Ooh, I'm doing a great job now. Oh, uh, but you're, you're almost... Yeah. No? Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. Why are you collecting all of these rune stones? Well, I can't just leave them. Well, yeah, that would be irresponsible. Look, pottery. Look, chocobos. Oh my gosh, they are! Not. They are definitely dragons, uh, right? No, they don't have any little, front feet. It has a little wing. 
Chocobos have wings. They're just vestigial. Vestigial. <laughs> no, I think that's supposed to be some sort of drake. You're no, probably dragon. right, but I want them to be chocobos. Gosh, yeah, like this game would be so cool with updated, updated with like more fully realized graphics. I mean, just from going from the first game to this game, big difference. I mean, I just think that there's a lot of room for a little bit of self-indulgence. Yeah. A little bit of self-referential -refer stuff. Because just imagine if in the third Rune Factory, if there was a summon card and it was like the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, which might not mean anything to you. Mm -hmm. because I don't think that you watched me play very much of Dark Souls 3, but one of the more visually impressive, memorable bosses from that game. Mm -hmm. So you said Rune Factory. Dang it. Nah, I knew that was going to happen eventually. You meant Rune 3, right? Yes, this hypothetical... The hypothetical Rune, Rune 3. 3. Okay. Titled Rune Factory, just to confuse everyone. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that I was still on, on the right track, because I was like, what thing in Rune Factory that you could summon? What? <laughs> yeah, oh, I like all fine. of the creature designs, too, because they're a little... They're all a little strange. They are not so... Like, yeah, the dragons look like dragons, but they're a little bit strange. Like, even the elephant's a little weird, you know? Mm -hmm. In the ears. Yeah. Everything has its own sort of flavor. It's definitely like European inspired in most places, but I mean, I think probably the different. the most straightforward creature in here, it's probably the skeleton. Mhm. Mm like they don't have any anything um out of the ordinary about them. Yeah. Although I would argue that the shading on them is pretty interesting, just the coloration. Oh, but I mean like yeah. So here's one quick example. You could have a skeleton mm -hmm. that's just called skeleton, mm -hmm. but it's not like the skeleton of a humanoid body. Oh, yeah. It could be... It could, it could, any creature, right? A giraffe. A sword-wielding giraffe. No, just a neck-wielding giraffe. <laughs> that would be yeah. amazing. You'd, you'd open up that card and go, wow, I'm amazed. A minotaur, speaking of yeah. being amazed, uh, a minotaur skeleton could just be like the basic skeleton, just this big oh. hulking horned creature. You were with me <clears throat> when I saw those giant sloth skeletons, right? Yes. Sloths used to be big, everyone. <laughs> Real big. <laughs> they used Everybody, to be... look, listen, this is important information. It Sloths is. were big. They were still slow and sweet, though, so I'm fairly sure that evidence... Uh... Available evidence suggests that that the humans of Earth ate them. You know what? Because they were big and slow and juicy. But they were real big, and they had these toes that were like, ah, and all of the toes had like a big hook on them. So imagine a sloth skeleton wielding something. How much time do we have? Two. All right, I think that's enough time for me to describe one thing I wanted to, to talk about before. Um, I think that... Let's just use the, the bottommost face button. So mm -hmm. it would be A on this controller. Yeah. Let's say that your rune master has a. There is. That's what I, I think the game would benefit from. This hypothetical rune three. Mm hmm. <sighs> Dang. All this way for a door that cannot be opened. Um. I think that the cards being further subdivided and more stuff being represented as cards. Mm hmm. So I think that if there was a class of card and they were called familiars, mm -hmm. or you know what else would be cute? Other like paper products, other things that held information. Yeah. But they're not all necessarily cards. So like, let's say that you can get like little 
paper talismans. Or or like charms. Like, you know, have you seen you've seen those luck charms? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Like a little paper charm or a talisman that has different a different ratio visually than the cards. Mm-hmm. And each one represents a familiar, and I'm not going in here because this seems important, yeah. so I think I'm just going to chill here for a bit uh-huh. um, while I get this idea out. So, each one is a familiar that you equip in a special slot, and it's like a, a minor, very classical d d like baby creature. So uh-huh. like a black cat, or a toad, or uh, a raven, mm-hmm. or like an imp. Yeah. And that is your basic attack. It is. It would be this hypothetical third entry's version of the Mega Buster, right? Mm, yeah, that makes sense. And maybe like whenever you press the A button with a black cat as your familiar, and it could it could like ride around on the character's shoulder. That would be cute. Mm-hmm. If it was just this little cat that was with you all the time. It would be really cute if you had it slung over one arm so that its little butt was hanging down, like you weren't holding <laughs> yeah. it properly. <laughs> or if it just like ran along aside, beside you or whatever. Yeah. Um, whenever you use it, your protagonist just does like a, imagine like a weak, but repeatable free version of Lizard Man from this game. Just a really basic low damage melee attack. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the imp could give you a really basic bullet that you could fire that would deal weak damage. Yeah. Stuff like that. I feel like that would be a good starting point. And then I feel like um, the L button here mostly goes underutilized because the the camera controls are completely adequate yeah on the c stick all mm-hmm. that really does is recenter the camera behind you mm-hmm. so even in this game i feel like there was room for like a an evasive maneuver yeah like being able to dodge would add a lot um especially if you could empower your dodge with cards, that's one thing. I I would love to see a a strong single player focus because I think that there are there are things that that this this game does that are kind of extreme that I think are still allowed in multiplayer. So maybe from software it does just doesn't really care about multiplayer balance. Mm -hmm. Even for all the multiplayer games they make. But it would be cool if there was like a series of books, for example. Yeah that would modify that dodge, so you could maybe, like, <laughs> do a little blink, like a short-range teleport. Mm-hmm. Or whenever you dodge away, it leaves, like, a stone copy of you behind, something like that. Mm-hmm. With, the, the de- like, a weak decoy action effect. Maybe it's super short-lived. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of good utility ideas. 